All right guys, so I'm just showing you the day that I ordered, which was March 22nd and the day that it was supposed to be delivered. And I'm new at this YouTube stuff, but I wanted to give my little information as far as how to shop for the couch and what the website looks like. It's an amazing website. I really loved shopping for my couch. I looked on this website about 30,000 times before I actually pressed order but it gives you so many options like they have performance they have regular couches like they have the performance which i got is the one that if you have like pets and kids and i have a pet and a kid so i needed something that would be easily um able for me to clean it so that's why i chose the fabric that i have All right, yeah, so this is the couch, like, after a couple days, like, people sitting on it, watching shows on it, us chilling on it. This is how it usually looks. I like the long pillows on the sides just because I feel like those pillows, these two, like, when they're against the back, I feel like it takes away from the, like, butt width of the couch so i just put them on the sides because i don't have anywhere to store them as of right now so i just leave them on the couch like that and then we lean on it instead of having to lean on the actual like armrest but like it's the back pillows for me like come on like every time like you sit on it five minutes and they're gonna look like that and that is what i hate about the couch like it doesn't really have any structure and i mean i guess that's what the point of the couch was to be like a very loungy couch but like when i walk in the house i want my couch to look nice like i should not have to be fluffing it up after i sit on it every single time like after a couple times fine like whatever but every single time those back pillows will deflate these two back pillows will deflate is annoying the seating cushions like fine like they flatten out a little i think that's the look that they were going for which is fine with me like i'm totally fine with that but now i feel like i need to like find something to fill these back pillows with because i want to be able to sit on my couch get up and the back pillows are still standing up like it definitely should do that so I did see a a video online of a girl with the same couch. She um she was like she took the stitching out and filled it. It was like a very good video, very informative. Like I still got the couch after seeing that she had to do that. But girl, baby, I paid too much. I'm not taking stitches out. I'm not that girl. I'm not the one to I'm I don't know how to sew. Like I would have to buy all those things. I don't have that. So I was thinking I'll go on Amazon and I'll just try to find pillow inserts that will fit into these pillows that are not too thick so that they will still be able to stand up but not be overfilled. I know that's going to be hella hard, but I'm going to try to do that and then maybe I'll give you guys an update on if it worked out or not. But this is how it looks after a couple of days. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not, but it's annoying to me. And one more tip before we go, I just want to stress to whoever is going to buy this couch or buy whatever couch, like if you're buying, if you're going to be buying a very large couch, please, 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 please do not make the mistake that I made and please go do measurements. Measure the elevator in your building if you live in an apartment measure your doors measure your measure your living room do all that because the day that my couch came i was so excited called out of work stayed home waited the couch came and i was so excited they brought it into the lobby of my building 
And the people who delivered it were like, oh, um, this couch is not going to fit in that elevator. So I'm looking, I'm like, no, the elevator is a pretty big size. Like, try. They tried. It didn't fit in the elevator. Then they said, okay, we're going to do, like, let's try to take it up the stairs. And the way the staircase is in my building, it's like it wraps around. So, of course, it didn't fit in the staircase either. So, what I ended up having to do was call, like, a furniture doctor. Never knew these people even existed. You have to call a furniture doctor. They come. They break the couch down. Right. So, I'm over there already have anxiety because they they are discussing with me about breaking my $2,000 couch down to build it back together in the apartment. And for me, it was scary because I was like, no, like I've never heard of a furniture doctor. I've never heard of people having to do this. Like, no, they came and all of that cost how much? $500 on top of the amount that I paid for the couch. Yeah. So I was pissed because it, I, first of all, I couldn't complain to West Elm because it was not their fault. It was totally my fault. Please make sure you guys do your measurements. It was, it worked out perfectly. The guys were very professional. They didn't speak a lot of English, but they were extremely nice. They left me a phone number if I had any questions. They were like laughing at me because they were just like, girl, like we do this all the time. I'm like, no, have you done this to this couch? Like, have you done, have you broken down a West Elm couch? Because if you breaking down a Bob's couch, no shade, but a Bob's furniture couch is not a West Elm couch as far as price. So if you break my shit down and then it comes back together and A, doesn't look the same or B, breaks in a couple months, I'm going to be so angry. But they did what they had to do. It's been a year. My couch is perfect as far as sturdiness. And I'm, they left their number. If anybody lives in the New York, Manhattan, Bronx area, I'll give you the information. But make sure you do your measurements to avoid all that. And no, I did not give... I did call West at home that day and I was mad, like yelling, upset. And they were just like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. But we will give you like... We'll give you a $250... Um, what you call it, like gift card, sorry about the inconvenience, blah, blah, blah. So I do, I did get that, never used it, but I actually should find that so that I can buy, like, as you can see, my apartment is like bare. So I should use that to buy something, but anyway. So yeah, here's a couch. Just wanted to give that extra little like information because baby, I was mad and I would hate for other people to have to go through that and then have to shovel out another $500 on top of that just to get the couch into your apartment. So it worked out, but try to avoid that.